With the first pick in the 2020 NBA Draft, the Minnesota Timberwolves select. On November 18th, 2020, the NBA Draft for the year was conducted at the ESPN facilities in Bristol, Connecticut. The event was held via video conferencing due to the global health situation. Each year, the draft seeks to select the best players to join the basketball league as long as they are eligible. Most of the time, the draft ends up picking college players, but international players with eligibility can also be drafted. As usual, the draft this year came with surprises, and in this video, we will be sharing with you five hidden gems you might have missed out on. Be sure to stay with us. Us until the end of this video. Ready? Let's get the ball rolling. But first, a simple reminder on how to enter our brand new giveaway. We will be giving away either an iPhone X Max, the new iPad Mini, or a MacBook Pro. It's all your choice. So be sure to leave a like, comment the keyword, subscribe, and turn on notifications to enter the giveaway. It's really that simple. The NBA draft is just as unpredictable as anything you could think of. We've seen players who have gone on to become all-star NBA players get selected in the second round. A perfect example is Nikola Jokic who was selected in the second round of 2014. Who would have guessed that such a player would go on to become one of the best centers in the NBA? There are also players like Isaiah Thomas and Manu Ginobili who went on to become basketball stars in their respective seasons, even though they had been selected in the second round. This happens for a number of reasons during the drafting process. Most teams always keep their eyes on the younger players, as it is important to have some youth in the team. The second rounders are usually seniors in college, and their age most times causes concern for teams. Another concern is height. Isaiah, for instance, was standing at five foot nine, but in spite of this, there is no doubt that we will be seeing some drafting similar to that of Isaiah and Jokic this year. With that said, let's take a look at five hidden gems in the 2020 NBA draft. Sadiq Bay. A number of critics and basketball fans might not agree with Bay being called a hidden gem. This is because there is a huge chance he will be selected in the first round of the draft, which he of course was. But this does not take away from the fact that the potential of Bay is grossly underrated. Bay is a sophomore coming from. Villanova, and he's already regarded as one of the more versatile 3 and D players in the 2020 draft. He has a unique ability to shoot accurately, coupled with strong defensive abilities. Bay stands at six foot eight and is a floor spacing expert who uses every chance he gets to shoot. Even though he is great at defending, he has more potential to get better. However, Bay isn't as athletic as a number of other drafted players, but this does not mean his stay in the NBA will be a total waste. In fact, there is more than enough proof to show that his career will be successful. In regards to his athletic nature, the young player has a huge potential for improvement. He lacks speed and lateral movement, meaning he is always exposed at the level of play. Nevertheless, he will still be able to provide results in a team that appreciates him. He might never end up becoming a superstar like Isaiah, but there is no doubt his stay in the NBA will be a successful one. Marcus Howard. Marcus Howard was regarded as a hidden gem who would either be drafted late in the second round or end up not being drafted at all. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, the 21-year-old player was not drafted. It's not really hard to understand why he wasn't. Howard isn't really tall as he stands at 5'11", but in spite of his height, Howard has made himself into one of the best all-time scorers in the history of the NCAA. Even though there was a potential to transfer this skill to the NBA, he was denied that chance. Howard has been widely compared to Damon Stoudemire and is regarded as a high-level scorer, a player who could take over the game when he wants, shoot from several angles, and drive the game forward. No matter the distance, he has the unique ability to make something out of every shooting opportunity. Howard is the sort of player that will become more than important to any team, especially now that he is undrafted. But what actually went wrong? As mentioned earlier, the major problems with Howard are his height and his defensive ability. He is very similar to Bay and could easily become a liability on the court. He will surely get more exposed, and this will, of course, cause teams to not want to play him. Consequently, he'll become a stagnant player in the NBA even if he had been drafted. However, there is always another chance to try again, and now we can just hope that we get to see him in the Summer League. Cassius Stanley I know what you want to ask. Why is Stanley considered a hidden gem when he used to be one of the most popular players in the high school basketball scene. Well, the reason why he's considered that is because he's been forgotten since he stepped into college. This is the same player who was regarded as one of the top 30 prospects in the high school class of 2019. Standing at 6'6", six six, Cassius has an insane athleticism that makes him a beast on the court. He also has an impressive vertical, a well-rounded offensive game, and a height that makes him dangerous 
anywhere. He is also considered a big-time leaper and a capable shooter with a range in the three points. Cassius was majorly touted to be drafted in the early mid-second round. However, he was drafted in the late second round, meaning he was almost pushed out of the draft. But if Cassius has this level of potential, how then is he still grossly underrated? Underrated to the point of being drafted in the last stage of the second round. The importance of age in the game of basketball cannot be overrated, and this is not without reason. Teams like building players from the lowest level to the highest, establishing a team spirit among players, and seeing players reach their true potential. This is what Cassius lacks. Cassius is just 21, and most teams want a younger player whom they can build a team around, but this is not the only issue associated with him. This calls to question his abilities and skills. Will Cassius be able to adapt as a 3 and D role player? Will he be able to leave the bench when he joins a team? Well, not really. His chances of becoming a first team player are extremely low, but this can change if he develops into a role player. At the end of the day, he was drafted to the Pacers, where we really hope he makes a difference. Cassius' selection in the ACC All-Freshman team in the 2019-20 season and playing in the 2019 Jordan Brand Classic as a high school senior are some of his achievements, but he is still widely underrated, and his selection as one of the hidden gems of 2020. Mamadi Diakite If you decide to call Mamadi Diakite the most NBA-ready player of the 2020 season, you wouldn't be mistaken. This is because he more than deserves a spot. However, he's considered a gem because his talent has widely been ignored and because he never made the final draft. Coming out of Virginia, Mamadi is a powerful 6'9 with excellent defending skills and an exceptional ability to tackle any player on the court with him. This could be on perimeter or even in the paint. His biggest strengths are his athleticism and, of course, his defending abilities. On the offensive front, Mamadi isn't your go-to guy, but his athleticism and defense can be used extensively to the advantage of a team. He's also quite good at hitting the open spot, and this is a very huge advantage for any team that scoops him up. Now, the reasons why we believe he is NBA-worthy are his second-to-none defense, his strength, and his athleticism. More importantly, he has shown that he is a perfect option when it comes to playing in big games, as he has shown in college. Well, with all of this, how can Mamadi still be considered a hidden gem, and how did he manage not to get drafted in the recent draft that happened in November? The problem with Mamadi is his age. He's 23 and one of the oldest in 2020 selections. Even though this should not be a problem when you consider the fact that Mamadi does his job on the court when he has to, what is worrying is the fact that he is already the same age as some of the players already playing in the NBA, most of which are considered the best. This should not matter, but with the NBA, every little issue could make a very good player not get drafted. When you look at Diakite's readiness and his skills, you realize how unfortunate it is to have him dropped from the final draft. Yudoka Azubuki. Yudoka was predicted by several experts to be drafted in the early or late second round of this year's draft. However, he was drafted in the late first round to the Utah Jazz. Yudoka might not be the most skillful player on whatever team he finds himself, but what makes him different is his athletic post-scoring rebounder ability, and let's not forget the height. Yudoka stands at 7 feet tall and comes from Kansas, where he is regarded as a paint beast. If Yudoka had played in the 1990s, his one-sided simple play style would have immediately landed him a lottery pick. However, with the growth that has happened in the game in the last few years, that isn't the case anymore. In spite of this, Yudoka is an impressive defender with impressive rebounding skills. He also has a great shot blocking ability, which landed him at an NCAA mainstay. On the offensive side, he has a very simple style of play as a hulking post scorer and knows how to use his body to defend big. However, what makes him an underdog is his play style. He lacks the dynamic style of play that has filled the modern NBA landscape. He isn't a playmaker, but he can surely make himself into an off-the-bench threat. As I mentioned earlier, if this was the 1990s, Yudoka would have made the lottery pick. But this is 2020, and Yudoka has to do more to be properly recognized for his abilities. And with that, we wrap up this video. Thanks for watching.